In this Cricut tutorial, I'm showing you how to make those super trendy chapstick inspired money card holders with the help of your Cricut cutting machine. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, where I show you the Cricut tips, the tricks, and the tutorials multiple times every single week. And y'all, today we're diving into a huge trend and trust me on this, you're going to want to dive into this huge trend while it is hot because these things are so freaking awesome like they are catching on like wildfire and i gotta say i am like so freaking proud to have some of these files some of these designs on crafty.net it is so cool y'all y'all are gonna freaking love this so be sure that you stay tuned until the end of this video because y'all do not want to miss this so this is what i'm talking about right here this is a chapstick inspired money card holder Y'all, we are going to use a little chapstick pouch, a little clear plastic pouch from the front of like a chapstick container and use it to actually hold money in on the front of this little printable card for, I guess, lack of a better word. I'm like so here for it. I am so freaking obsessed. So what I want to do is actually come over here and I don't need the entire zip file. So I'm going to actually change this over to a PNG file because we are going to do this as a print then cut image. So let me go ahead and do a one click download like so. And then let's go ahead and head over to Cricut Design Space. Now we do need to go in here and actually upload our design. So let me come down here, click on upload, then click on upload image. And then let's go ahead and drag and drop our file over here and onto the screen. Now for a print then cut type, I always, always click on complex. Y'all, if it's not broke, why fix it? It always works. So let's go ahead and go with that. Click on continue, click on apply and continue. And then this is super important. Click on the print then cut image and then on upload. All right, so now you're gonna see it down here under our recently uploaded images. Let's go ahead and click on that and then on add to canvas and y'all, here it is, super, super simple, right? All right, so sometimes Cricut Design Space can be just a little bit wonky, especially for like print then cut images. It can be designed at a certain size, but then Cricut Design Space will upload it into the Cricut Design Space canvas at a completely different size altogether. So what we're gonna have to do is actually take a look over here at crafty.net because y'all, crafty.net, like we got you covered, all right? Like we got you covered. It actually says dimensions are four inches by five inches and that they need to be resized before cutting with the Cricut. So let's go ahead and hop back over here and let's make this four by five inches. Now, another thing that's been a little bit wonky here lately with Cricut Design Space is some of the images, some of the files that you upload, they will actually bring them in unlocked, like unlocked proportions, as you can see right here. Not sure why that's happening, not sure if that's a glitch or what they're trying to do there, but let's go ahead and lock that back into place so that we can actually keep our proportions. And then for the width, let's put it in here four inches. Hit enter and it automatically resize the height to be right at five inches as well. So we are perfect, we are good to go. Now you may also notice that there is a little space right here that is empty. Now, again, back at the crafty.net listing, as you can see right here, it is saying to use a crafty font to add the dollar amount. Now it looks like the font that was used here was the eternal font. So let's go ahead and hop back over here to Cricut Design Space. What I'll do is come over here, click on text, and let's just go ahead and put in here $20. Now, obviously you could put in here whatever dollar amount you want to. I mean, you could put a hundred, you could put in 200. I mean, you could go crazy and do whatever you wanted to do. Um, you do you boo, right? So let's go ahead and change the font of this though. And let's do that by coming up here towards the top left, clicking on font, and then do a search for eternal. All right, so there is the eternal font. Let's go ahead and click on that. And there we go. Let's go ahead and change the color of this though. And we're gonna do that by changing that to white up here at the top left by clicking this little color swatch and then white. And then we go ahead and grab this little resize handle and shrink that down like so. All right, so this part is actually really important as well. We wanna make sure that this new layer that we just added, which you can see over here on the right-hand side of the page, this new layer, right now it's not connected at all to the Princeton Cut layer below it. We want to make sure that that happens, but we also wanna make sure that it stays a print then cut image. So to do that, we'll just go ahead and click and drag over all of this, and then come down here towards the bottom right and click on flatten. And flatten's gonna take those two layers and merge them, flatten them into one printable image. So now it is all just one single print then cut image as you can see right here on the screen. Now all we need to do is come up here towards the top right, click on make it. Now, as you can see here, this is our matte preview screen. 
We don't need to do anything here. Let's go ahead and come down here towards the bottom right and click on continue. And then let's click on send to printer. Now I am gonna go in here and actually change that printer over to our 3760. I am using an Epson 3760 inkjet printer. I am also gonna go ahead and turn the add bleed option off, but turn the use system dialog option on and click on print. All right, so here is our system dialog box where we can go in here and dial in our settings and get the best print quality possible, which obviously we want. So let's go in here, change the quality up to best. Now for the media type, y'all, I'm being just a tad extra. I mean, huge surprise there, right? Like shocker. But I am using this matte inkjet printable adhesive vinyl from StarCraft. This stuff is amazing. I use it for all kinds of different stuff, but I really, really love using it as sticker paper. It's so good super high quality, but you know, I'm actually gonna be applying this down to something. Now, some people will just go ahead and print all this out like on like a, maybe like just a computer paper or maybe something a little bit thicker, but I wanted this to be durable, right? Like I wanted it to feel more in lines with something like an actual chapstick like package, right? So what I'm gonna do is actually use this craft board from Cricut. This one side is just freaking gorgeous. Like this is like the neon holographic craft board package from Cricut. So I'm actually gonna be using this for the back of the actual, the package, right? So then I'm actually gonna go ahead and print all this out onto the printable vinyl, lay it down onto the craft board so that whenever you did flip it over, the back side is like a little pizzazzy, right? Like it's a little extra, it's a little over the top. People are going to love it. I promise you that it's gonna be so cool. So. For the, the matte inkjet printable adhesive vinyl, which is like, that's the only thing that we're printing on. That right there. For that, I'm gonna go in here and use the photo matte paper. However, these, these settings here, this is for my Epson. They might be they might be different depending upon which printer you're using and which computer you're using as well. But just try to find something similar and maybe even run a few tests to see what's gonna work out best. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on print. All right, so here is our printable vinyl. Now that's a little black rectangle around here. That is the registration marks that the Cricut will, will use to actually cut all this out. Now, let me also say this, that this can only be done with like a Cricut Explore device or Cricut Maker device, basically something that can actually utilize print then cut. Cricut Joy, sadly, does not have the print then cut feature. So let's go ahead and apply this down to the top left-hand corner of this craft board right here. Again, we're putting it onto the back side of the craft board, not onto the pretty side. Now to actually help me get this lined up perfectly at the top left-hand corner, we're actually gonna be using some parchment paper to kind of get that all lined up. I'm also gonna go in here and trim this out so that we can save this extra because I do use my scraps. And again, there is a video coming up soon on how to use all your, your printable vinyl scraps, your sublimation paper scraps, your printable HTV scraps. I'm just running a few last tests and that is coming soon. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this printable vinyl off of its backing like so, and then apply most of this down to the parchment paper. And that's gonna basically be like a non-stick barrier that we can actually use to get this all lined up on. All right, so once you have that applied down, lift up the rest of that printable vinyl, remove that parchment paper, then grab like a squeegee or like an old gift card or something, and then just kind of push this all down. Now let's go ahead and place this down onto a blue light grip cutting mat, right at the top left-hand corner of the cutting mat. All right, so as far as cut settings go, let's go in here and take a look at this. Since we are cutting a printable vinyl on top of a craft board, let's go in here, click on browse on materials. I'm gonna come right down here and click on craft board. You could also just come up here and do a search for it if you needed to, but I'm also gonna click on done. I'm also gonna go in here and click on pressure and then change that over to more. So let's go ahead and just load this in. And by the way, I am using my Cricut Explore 3 today. Again, you can do this with the Cricut Explore Air 2, Explore 3, Cricut Maker, Cricut Maker 3, whatever, whatever you have. And then click on that little go button whenever it starts flashing. So what it's doing right now is actually using its sensor to read the registration marks so it knows exactly where to make those precise cuts at. All right, this is super important. Do not unload your mat yet. Like I repeat, do not unload your mat. What you wanna do first is make sure that it cut all the way through. So you can just kind of go in here and kind of lift up on this. And it looks like the more pressure actually did the job. Now, if yours did not cut through, that's all right. 
just go in there, do not unload the mat, and then click on that go button again. The same button that you press for it to start cutting, click on that without unloading, and it will make the exact same cuts again. Now, if you did unload your mat and loaded it back in and tried to get it to do the exact same thing all over again, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna cut in that exact same way. So just keep that in mind. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and unload this since it did cut all the way through. Let's go ahead and also flip this over and then peel our material away from our mat. I guess technically that's peeling your mat away from your material, but y'all y'all get me, y'all know. <laughs> All right, so y'all, this is so freaking cute, but we do have one more step, possibly, possibly the most important of the steps. So what I'm gonna do is actually grab a little, little chapstick, Vaseline, whatever you wanna call this thing, this little lip balm package right here. Now they do sell just this little plastic portion right here, just a little lip balm pouch on Amazon, um, even on Etsy, a couple different places. But at the time of filming this, they are literally nowhere to be found because everybody is wanting to make these, okay? So what I'm doing instead is showing y'all a little method that you could use for a little one-off. If you just wanted to make one of these for a little special gift, this is how you can go and do it. Just grab a little, little uh, package like this. Basically, you don't want the type of lip balm package where the plastic goes over the entire front. You want it to be just covering just the lip balm portion, and that is that. So let's go in here and actually just peel the cardboard off of this. Then I'm just gonna grab a little X-Acto knife, go through here and just cut it out around the edges of this. And I'm also grabbing some nail polish remover, like some acetone. I'll put this on this little towel right here and we'll go through and actually try to remove this cardboard and adhesive from this. It seems like the real trick with this, with the acetone, is just like letting it kind of soak in, just kind of keep rubbing and it eventually will just all peel off with no issue whatsoever. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some little adhesive, like this little Tombow adhesive right here. This stuff is so, so cool. It's like a glue tape. Like, I don't know exactly how to, to describe it. It's super cool though. I mean, you could also go in here and just use like a normal glue as long as it dried clear, because like that's like the biggest thing, right? Like you want it to dry clear. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and then apply it down around the edges of the corners of this little, this little pouch. Now for the piece de la resistance, I'm gonna take a little 20 or whatever you've decided to put into your little card there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up. And then we'll just go ahead and tuck it right here into this little pouch. And then apply this down onto the card. Oh, it's so cute. Y'all, like, I cannot even believe this. Like, check this out. Like, how freaking cool is this? Like, I don't care who you are, how old you are, whatever. Like, who would not be super stoked to get one of these? Like, I am here for it. Like, I am so, so freaking obsessed with this. Now, again, remember, this file came from crafty.net where you can get basically unlimited access to what is currently like over 17,000 files, I believe, at the time of filming this on the site. Crafty is releasing over 1,000 new files every single month. It is such a great value. It saves our members so much money. Like it's seriously so freaking good. Check it out if you haven't already. A link to this file will be down in that description box below. Now, if you are new around here to this channel and you also want to learn how to best use your Cricut, then you definitely want to consider stamping that subscribe button. Also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications because y'all, let's be real, you do not want to miss out on a single Cricut Minute. Also, if you liked the episode, if you learned something new, consider stamping that like button and drop a comment down below. It's free to do. It helps us out so much here on this channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. And thank you just for watching. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty.